Hey guys, let's take a look at direct in inverse variation squared. Remember variation, well, let's talk about it first. Remember the old uh, formula here. A varies directly with B, that means you're gonna set up this formula A equals K times B. Direct variation means you multiply. What if A varies indirectly with B? What's the equation look like? A equals K divided by B, remember that? Okay. We can do things other than just it varies directly. We could do, as the title says, something squared or cubed or halved or to the, you know, whatever power we can do all that kind of stuff. The main thing is to remember is we don't change anything except for we set it up just like this. And if it says something like A varies directly with B squared, we'll just say squared or, or we'll say indirectly with B squared, we'll say squared down there. That's all there is to it, nothing really different. You will be working with some big numbers. Um, if you want to use a calculator on these, I think that'd be probably okay. But I would rather you that you did this uh, using what you know about exponents and, and that we'll do a couple of those in a second. So let's look. The weight of a body varies inversely with the square of the distance to the center of the earth. Okay, so we can do this first. The weight of a body varies inversely with the, let's just say it's the distance. So if it'd be like this, if it varies just the distance, it'd be k over d, right? But if it says it varies inversely with the square of the distance, we'll just put a square there. That's it. No big deal. You just fill in the blanks and work out the numbers and then you know solve what they ask you to solve. There's another one. The distance required to stop is directly proportional to the square of the velocity. So, okay, that shouldn't be that big of a deal. Distance required to stop is directly proportional, so that's gonna be k <clears throat> times b to the square of the velocity, so just velocity, but you square it. Boom, there you go. Same old thing we did before. All right, last one on this page. The strength of the field is inversely proportional to the cube of the radius. Okay, well the strength, we'll call it s, is inversely proportional, so that'll be k, you know, over something. The cube of the radius, which means not just squared, but cubed, and there you go. And again, you're just gonna you're just gonna plop in the uh, the numbers, to solve for k, use k in the new equation, and solve it just like we always have. So all you're doing is adding something squared or something uh, cube, you know, cubed or whatever. So let's do a couple of these. We'll do three. All right. The distance required for a car to stop is directly proportional to the square of its velocity. Let's stop right there. All right. The distance is directly proportional, so we'll do a k here. The square of the velocity, so what you put there? V squared, right? That's our basic equation. Okay, well let's solve for those different uh, variables there. The car can stop in 200 feet, so we'll just say, you know, 200 at 20 miles an hour. Remember, we're trying to find what k is, times 20, and we're gonna square it, don't forget. Okay, let's, so let's find k. All right, so 200 equals k times 20 squared is 400. So divide by 400, uh, 200 divided by 400, k is just 0.5 or one half, whatever you want to call it. Okay, all right. Now the question is, what will be the required stopping distance at 28 miles per hour? All right, so we'll do exactly the same thing and bring it down here. So what will be the distance? We don't know, we put a d. The k we figured out was 0.5, we can put that there. And 28 miles per hour, we would just go, okay, that's 28 squared. And if you memorized your 28 tables like most American children have, you would know, of course, that 28 times 28 is 784. And all you need to do is multiply by 0.5 or just divide by two and you would get d is equal to 390. Too. So think about this for a second. Let's just let's make this real here. Okay, if you're going 20 miles or 20 miles an hour, it takes you 200 feet to stop. Well, that's not actually true. That's you got terrible breaks if that happens. But you can tell if you're going to go 28 miles an hour, it's going to take you you know longer to stop. So it's going to be 392. All right. Let's try another one. And again, you can copy and you know or pause and copy anytime you want to. The distance of a, bo a body falls varies directly as the square of the time that it falls. Okay, stop right, pause it if you need to, go ahead and write our basic equation for that sentence. So pause it.
All right, so the distance is going to be varying directly, so that's a k there, and the square of the time going to fall, so that's going to be t squared. All right, that good? Makes sense? Okay, now we're in good we're in good shape here, we're in business, all right? If it falls 144 feet in three seconds, so let's fill in the blanks. The distance is 144 feet in three seconds. We don't know what k is, but we know that three seconds, that's the, you know, the time, that's going to be squared, so k times 9, all right? If we do the division, 144 divided by 9 is 16. There we have our k. And we're just going to go ahead and put this down here using our k. Okay? How far will it fall, which means we don't know the d, in 10 seconds? Well, we know the k is 16, so we'll just put 16. And then 10 seconds, we'll put 10 there. Of course, we square it, don't forget. So we're going to have d equals 16 times 10 squared, which is 100. So 16 times 100. There we go. Done. -da. Okay. Try one more. All right. Go ahead and pause this and read it and figure out your basic equation and then unpause it when you're done. <clears throat> okay. Well, the weight, gosh, there's so many words you have to kind of wade through, but the weight uh, varies inversely with the square of the distance. Okay. That's good enough for us. So the weight varies inversely, which means k is on top, the square of the distance. So it's going to be d squared. There we go. This isn't hard stuff. You just plop stuff in and you got it. All right. If a body weighs 10,000 pounds, the distance is 500 miles. Okay. Let's just fill that in. So the weight is 10,000. We're going to get into some big numbers here. So you can use a calculator if you want to just to save yourself time. <clears throat> but I'm going to show you how to do it without a calculator. Uh, at a distance of 5,000 miles. So K is going to be 5,000 squared. Good gravy. Okay. All right. Well, we got to find what K is. So 1 times K cross multiplying will be, let's do 5,000 squared first. Well, that's just 5,000 times 5,000, right? So 5 times 5 is 25. We got three zeros there. We got three more zeros there. So we have 1, 2, 3, four, five, six zeros. That needs to be multiplied by this right here. So we're going to have one, two, three, four more zeros. Good grief. So one, two, three, and four. That is a big number. That is $250 billion. That's about how much money the government spends in about, oh gosh, it probably take them at least 10 minutes to do that. Okay. Okay. That's our K. That's what we were going to very with joy, stick in here in the new part. All right, well, let's figure out what it is. How much would it weigh? Well, that tells us immediately. We don't know. W, we don't know. <clears throat> uh, 50,000 miles from the center of the Earth. So K, we know, is this. Let's go ahead and just write this uh, in a form that uh, scientific notation. So we have one, two, three, that's three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Right? So that's going to be 2.5 times 10 to the 11th power. All right? 50,000 miles is going to be this d squared, right? Good. Gravy in the morning. Okay. So 50,000 times 50,000? Criminy. Okay. We can do this at least pretty easily. So 5 times 5, that's going to be 25. 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros times 4 zeros will be 8 zeros. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, three and then three and then 2.5 billion. All right, so we're gonna let's do this in scientific notation and also just to make it easier to do on the bottom there. So three, six, nine. Okay, so this is 2.5 times 10 to the ninth. Okay, and we know how to do this kind of stuff now, right? 2.5 divided by 2.5 is one. All right, 10 to the 11th divided by 10 to the 9th, you just simply subtract, that's 10 to the second. Well, 10 to the second is just 100, right? There we go. All right. Okay, so that's it. That's all you need to do. Okay, let's try the practice problem. Go ahead and pause it and give this a whirl. <clears throat> all right, we have weight varies inversely with the square of the distance. Okay, so here's our equation. Weight varies inversely with the square of the distance. That might seem vaguely familiar there. Okay. 
All right, if a body weighs 50,000, so let's just go ahead and put 50,000. It's a big body. Um, at a distance of 6,000 miles, so K is going to be there, and you're going to have 6,000 squared. All right? Well, let's just cross multiply. So K is equal to, let's just kind of do this. Um, you can use a calculator, but I mean, if, let's at least try to do this in our heads first, okay? So we have 6,000 squared will be 36, but how many zeros is that going to be? Six, right? Okay, so that's 36 million. We're going to multiply, multiply that by 50,000. Okay, so let's try that. All right, we'll do 36 first times 5. And that'll be 180. Then we'll have six zeros and four zeros. Good gracious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Crap. Oh, look at that. One, two, three. Look at that. That's a trillion eight hundred thousand, eight hundred billion. Okay, that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of money. All right. Can you imagine that? A trillion eight hundred thousand, eight hundred billion dollars. It's like if you spent thirty-six million dollars a year on something. It'd take you 50,000 years to spend, not even $2 trillion. Anyway, okay, side issue there, I guess. Okay, so that's our K, and we'll call it, let's go ahead and call it um, our K, we will call it 1.8 times 10 to the, and let's do it, 3, 6, 9, 12. Ooh, perfect, okay. That's our K. All right. So let's go, let's ask here. Uh, how much would it weigh? In other words, we're using this equation here. We don't know. 25,000 miles from the center of the Earth. So this is 1.8 times 10 to the 12th. 25,000 miles from the center of the Earth. Good gracious. Okay. So the same thing. Let's just do 20. In other words, this is going to be 25,000 squared. All right. Well, what is 25,000 squared? It's kind of a lot, all right? We can take this uh, 25,000 squared and we can just go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and just copy over this 1.8 times 10 to the 12th. 25,000 squared, let's do it over here. 25 times 25, in other words, if you had 25 quarters, you'd have $6.25. We'd have six zeros. And there you go. So we're gonna divide this by one, Two, and then, then this is going to be 6.25 times 10 to the 8th power. <clears throat> okay. Well, this is kind of a mess. Let's go ahead and just, we, we can use a calculator here. And we'll go ahead and just go um, 1.8 times, let's do this. 1.8 divided by 6.25 will be... Sir, 0 0.288, 0 0.288. And of course, this part we can go, that's 10 to the 12th divided by 10 to the 8th, which is 10 to the 4th. And let's move this over one time so it's in scientific notation. So, you know what, who, the 0.2, ah, never mind. We'll just put it what it is, 1, 2, 3, and then 4. 2,880, there you go. Okay, not too bad, all right. There you go. So I hope that worked for you. See you guys next time. Have a great day.